3-2 battalion has been officially disbanded. Richard Newton reports that both for present and past members of the unit, it was an emotional occasion. It was at 3-2 battalion's base at Pomfret in the Northern Cape that the unit, arguably the most well-known and successful unit to serve South Africa during the Bush War, was officially disbanded. The parade was a sad event for the thousands of present as well as past members of 3-2 battalion. This much-feared unit came into being in 1975 as a result of the Angolan Civil War and many of its members came from the FNLA resistance movement. The unit built up its reputation for success in conventional and unconventional operations in Southwest Africa and Southern Angola. With South Africa's withdrawal, the battalion was resettled with their families at Pomfret and deployed in rural areas. Members of this proud unit will now be transferred to other units within the South African Defence Force. According to General Mayron, these units that receive 3-2 members can only benefit from their experience. The base town of Pomfret, which currently houses 6,000 people, will be retained by the Defence Force. Past and present members of the unit, however, feel sold out by what they call the politically motivated destruction of the best unit in the Southern Hemisphere. None feel stronger than the man who founded the unit and trained its first members, Colonel Jan Breitenbach. I feel we've been betrayed, let down, because the uh, politicians were using the, uh, this unit's political pawn. And I don't think it's right, because uh, they bled for this country. 